What's up, y'all? I want to talk about being uncomfortable. Tis the season, right? It's the holidays. It's Christmas. Everybody's making plans for going to see family, going out of town, buying presents, fighting traffic, going to the mall, spending money. Um, New Year's coming up. You got resolutions, things you're trying to do to get better, and we're all going to do them, and 90% of us are going to shit the bed when it comes to those. Uh, I've done those many times. Um I'm super uncomfortable right now, and I'm kind of fucking pissed. I weighed in this morning. I weighed 286 pounds. Um, if you watch me or watch my stories and stuff, you see me walking on a track all the time. I'm just trying to have accountability for myself to get into the gym every day. I'm trying to create good habits, and I've done that. I've been I've been consistent at the gym for about three years. Uh, I've been doing the sauna for about two years, cold showers for about six months. Um, so. I have consistency, but when I saw that this morning, 286 pounds, it made me want to walk out of the gym, honestly. Um, on 920, September 20th, 2023, I weighed in at 260. That's the lowest I've been in about 10 years. Uh, I was super proud, like pumped, man. I was like, my goal's been 250. I was like, I'm going to hit that within the next couple weeks before November. Or, you know, that was my goal, 250 before November. That same weekend, I go down to Dale Hollow and I busted my knee up really bad. I I uh, tore my meniscus and like messed up my ACL. I've been in a brace, and today's actually my last day of PT for that injury. Um, but it's just unexcusable. I've I've gained 26 pounds in like three months, a little over three months. That's you know 10 pounds a month. Typically during the holidays, I gain 10 to 15 pounds on a on a standard year because I track that shit. I've been tracking it for years. Um, just disgusted with my fat ass. It, it makes me so mad. Me and my boy Levi talk about how bad our diets have been since Halloween, basically, because all the candy that comes around from the kids and what you're handing out and, you know, candy laying around the office and, you know, everywhere you go, there's candy available to you. And then you got Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, um, you got Christmas. We've had a couple birthdays in between, um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now you got New Year's coming up. There's all these times where you can just pretty much gorge yourself. I've been gorging myself since I hurt my knee. I let my knee be my excuse for, you know, not kind of following through with what I should be doing. I don't think life is meant to be comfortable. I think from the second you wake up, nobody wants to wake up. You want to hit the snooze. You want to lay in those comfortable sheets. You don't want to go to work or fight traffic or work for some asshole boss that's making a ton of money. You don't want to like fight traffic on the way home, have to make dinner, deal with the kids. You know, all these things are stressful. There, there's enjoyment in, in some of those things, but a lot of people are fighting for those few hours every night to just relax and you know, be with themselves and or their significant other and just kind of relax and do their own thing or something that they're passionate about. Um, I'm the same way. Um, I'll tell you something else that makes me uncomfortable. I'm, I'm a real estate agent. Most of y'all know that. Um, the market is crazy right now. A lot of agents are, are struggling. There's lots that exited the game. Um, there's some that are doing really well. They've been in the game for a long time and they've built their clientele up. Personally, I haven't sold a house in about three months, and that means I haven't had a paycheck in three months, and here we are at Christmas when all the spending has happened. It's it's very stressful. Um, that being said, the reason I do the things I do, like I kind of try to condition myself to be uncomfortable. I, I push myself to be uncomfortable as much as I can every day, just so when life brings me uncomfortable situations or stressful situations, I'm able to deal with them more effectively because I have quote unquote practice being uncomfortable. Um, I wake up earlier than I want to 515 in the morning within five minutes of being awake, five, 10 minutes, uh, depending on the day I'm taking a three minute cold shower as cold as the water will be. Uh, then I head to the gym. I work out for about an hour, which is uncomfortable. And then I sit in a sauna that's 200 and sometimes 180 to 215 degrees for 20 minutes every day. Those are my four wins every morning. And it makes me feel good that I've got something accomplished. Um, being 286, it makes that shit seem like it doesn't even matter. But I know I've created the habits that are going to allow me to lose this weight again. I am going to lose the weight. I know that. I'm going to hit 250 before summer. I guarantee it. You can watch me on my stories and stuff. It's about to happen because looking at that 286 number makes me fucking disgusted with myself this morning. And it actually pumps me up. Like, 
I've gotten over the mental block that happened where I started feeling sorry for myself for being such a fat ass. And I'm, I'm ready to go for real. Same with, um, same with, uh, how the real estate's been. I haven't been paid in three months. Doesn't bother me. I know I'm going to get paid again. It's going to happen. That's, that's just the way life is. You know what I mean? Plus, look, I haven't got paid, but I'll tell you what happened this year. This was the best year for me professionally in my entire life. I got, um, I got top producer this year. I was the 10th um, highest grossing agent at Ownerland this year. Um, I've been in the top 25 for the last three years. The lowest I've gotten is like 14th. Um, last year, I was like 23rd. This year, I was 10th. I was the 10th highest ranked agent out of like 350, 400 agents at Ownerland. This shit is crazy, but I haven't sold a house in like three months. It's nuts. I know it's going to happen. I just got to keep pushing. Um, New Year's Eve is coming up. We're all about to drink our faces off, party, eat a bunch of bullshit with our friends and have a lot of fun. And then we're going to feel like shit the next day. And I'll tell you what, the gym's going to be packed. I've seen it year after year. The gym gets packed January through about the first, second week of February. And then it's back to normal again. A lot of you, me included, are going to have these uh, New Year's Eve resolutions. 90% of us are going to not do them. If you're thinking about that, just do it. Just get it over with. Plan on being uncomfortable. You're going to be uncomfortable anyway. It doesn't matter. You're going to be uncomfortable with being a fat ass. You're going to be uncomfortable with quitting when you do it. You're going to be uncomfortable with whatever. The way you're eating or going about in March, you're going to be like, damn, I shouldn't have stopped. If I wouldn't have, I'd have been in a much better place. Don't let that shit happen. I'm not going to let it happen. I guarantee you I'm going to be at 250 probably around March or April. It's going to take a lot of damn work, though, because man, I've let myself go, but get it in your mind state that that's what you're going to do. You know, what was uncomfortable for me when I weighed 313 pounds and my fat ass couldn't tie my shoes or clip my toenails unless I held my breath at the right position. It was disgusting. I'm proud of myself for where I've been, but I know I got a lot of work ahead of me. I know I'm completely ridiculously uncomfortable with where I'm at right now. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of you out there. You've been thinking about the money you spent, the maybe a bad trip, maybe being around family got you pissed off or whatever. Um, you know, you're looking at them credit card bills coming in from the money you spent for Christmas. You know, New Year's Eve is coming. You want to make a change. Just do it. I'm with you. I'm going to be struggling. I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling. As soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to be struggling. I'm struggling, wondering if I should even put this out here for the world to see me um, ranting and raving about this dumb shit. But I'll be here. I'll be uh, on my stories, working out every morning. If you're going to do it, let's do it together. We can lean on each other and support each other. Fuck it. Let's do it. This is the year. We're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. Hey, embrace the suck. Embrace the uncomfortable because you can't escape it. Every day you wake up, you're uncomfortable. You go to work, you're uncomfortable. It doesn't matter. You're going to be uncomfortable. You might as well be uncomfortable better in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Damn.